The Stewarts are excited. In this act, they prepare for Grandpa's arrival from Florida. Oh, let's go upstairs and, and prepare Grandpa's room. You know, maybe I'll put together some photos of Grandpa as a welcome present. I want to put some of my good hangers in Grandpa's closet. Ellen and Marilyn prepare Grandpa's room and notice his old trunk. What's inside? I don't know. It's locked. What's inside the trunk? Marilyn, you want coffee or tea? Coffee, please. I'm so excited. At this time tomorrow morning, Grandpa will be sitting in the kitchen with us. When does he arrive? At six o'clock this evening. By plane? No, by train. Are we picking him up at the station? Not Grandpa. He doesn't want anybody picking him up. <laughs> he likes to be independent. Huh. Oh, let's go upstairs and, and prepare Grandpa's room. Right. Let's do it. Okay. Morning, Mom. Well, Morning. Hi, fellas. Hello. Hello. Come on. Come on, Come on. Come on. Morning, Marilyn. Mm, we're going upstairs to set up Grandpa's room. Okay. There's coffee ready. I'm really excited about seeing Grandpa. Me too. Uh, milk, please. He's so funny. He always makes me laugh. I hope Grandpa's going to like living with us. Oh, I think he will. It just takes time to feel comfortable in a new place. Won't he miss being in Florida? Well, he will, but I think he'll like being here with the family. Are you sure about that? It's crazy here most of the time. Yeah, but it's fun. That's for sure. You know, maybe I'll put together some photos of Grandpa as a welcome present. That's a neat idea. What can I do? I've got it. I have a picture of Grandpa mm -hmm. and Dad and me in my wallet. It's from the father's and son's breakfast at my junior high school graduation. Oh, I remember this picture. I'd really like to pick up Grandpa at the railroad station. Railroad stations or airports. Grandpa always tells us he'll get here by himself. He's something. <laughs> Is this all Grandpa's stuff? That's it. But I'm sure he has a few bags with him on the train. What's inside? I don't know. It's locked. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, hi, darling. Good morning, Philip. I want to put some of my good hangers in Grandpa's closet. You know, I'm very excited about his arrival. Oh, we are, too. Susan called early this morning. She's unhappy because uh, she's had to go to Chicago on a business trip and can't leave till tonight. She wants to be here for Grandpa. Well, Grandpa will be disappointed, too. He loves Susan. She always reminds him of Grandma. Well, how's everything here? Fine. We were just wondering about this trunk. It's 
locked. Oh. I have the key. Grandpa sent it to me. picking him up. He likes to be independent. I think that's good. He's got his own way of doing things. He likes to take care of himself. I guess you're right. He's so funny. He always makes me laugh. I guess he has a good sense of humor. Yeah, I bet he's a lot of fun. Grandpa always tells us he'll get here by himself. He's something. <laughs> opinion he's a very special man what do you think well i believe i'm gonna like him but but what won't he miss being in florida well he will but i think he'll like being here with the family i suppose he'll miss his home in florida and his independence i suppose you're right but what about you what do you think what kind of man is grandpa what do you imagine he's like why is he moving away from Florida? And how does he feel about moving to Riverdale? What do you think? Let's see. In the second act, Grandpa travels to New York City on the train and meets a woman named Elsa Tobin. They enjoy talking to each other. You said you have family in New York. Yes, indeed. Grandpa is looking forward to seeing his family, but does he want to stay with them permanently? Are you going to live with them? Yes. Permanently? Well, they want me to. Does he want to stay? No, it's not taken. Oh, thank you. Oh, let me help you with this. Oh, thank you. Do you want to sit by the window? No, no, no. I like the aisle seat better. Please, you sit by the window. My name is Stuart, Malcolm Stewart. Pleased to meet you. I'm Elsa Tobin. How do you do? Do you uh, live in New York? No, no, I'm from Florida. Oh, I am too. <laughs> but uh, didn't you just get on? No, no, I just changed my seat. A man next to me was smoking, and smoke really bothers me. <laughs> Where are you from in Florida? Uh, Titusville. It's near Orlando. Small world, I'm from Titusville too. <laughs> really? <laughs> What part? My husband and I live near Spaceport. Well, I know that area. My house is uh, only a few miles from Spaceport. Do you uh, still live there? Oh, yes. Yes, my husband's there now. He couldn't take time off to come to New York with me. Mm -hmm. Do you still live there? No. I sold the house and the furniture. Put a few personal things in an old trunk and shipped it to my children in New York. Now that's my destination. Are you married? My wife died four years ago. She was a wonderful woman, a real friend. I'm sorry, really, I'm sorry. Lots of wonderful memories. We were married almost 50 years. Well, 47 to be exact. John and I celebrate our 40th anniversary next month. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> That's nice. What does uh, John do? He's an aerospace engineer and works for Orlando Aircraft Corporation. Mm. He started with them almost 40 years ago. Mm. What do you do? 
I just retired. Had my own company, a construction company. Roads, bridges, big stuff. But I just sold it and retired. Excuse me, ma'am. Ticket, please. Would you kindly hold these keys, please? Oh. I have a ticket, I know. I was in the smoking section. It's OK, lady. Take your time. I'm sure it's in your purse, Mrs. Tobin. Oh, here it is. And here are your keys. Thank you. <laughs> Do you uh, have family in New York? No, no. But I do have very close friends in New York City. Mm. We like to go to the theater together. You said you have family in New York. Yes, indeed. A son and his wife and their three children, my grandchildren. You must be excited. Oh, I can't wait to see them. Are you going to live with them? Yes. Permanently? Well, they want me to, but it's too early to know for sure. I'm pretty independent. I tried to teach my kids the importance of independence, but I'm not sure I want to be alone. Some people don't mind being alone. I do. I understand. But tell me, why did you stop working? I retired because I wanted to be with my family. I didn't want to be alone anymore. <laughs> Stuart, Malcolm Stewart. Pleased to meet you. What's your name? I'm Elsa Tobin. How do you do? How do you do? Where do you live? Titusville. Where do you live? Small world. I'm from Titusville, too. It's a small, small world. Are you married, yes or no? Please tell me, let me know. John and I celebrate our 40th anniversary next month. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ooh. What do you do? We do. Are you a doctor, a farmer, a mailman, a lawyer, an artist, a salesman, a businessman? retired. Do you have family in New York? No. Do you have family in New York? Yes, indeed. I'm pleased to meet you. In the third act, Grandpa arrives in New York. Well, here we are. <laughs> and the night is full of surprises. Presents for Grandpa. Presents? For me? And Grandpa opens the trunk. What's inside the trunk? Ladies and gentlemen, Amtrak.
Amtrak is happy to announce our arrival in New York City. The train will be stopping in five minutes. Please check to be sure you have your belongings and have a good stay in the Big Apple. Thank you. Well, here we are. <laughs> it was so nice meeting you, Mr. Stewart. And <laughs> nice meeting you too, Mrs. Tobin. Please look us up. We're in the phone book. Dr. Philip Stewart in Riverdale. Your son. That's right. And have a good time in New York. <laughs> and don't be so independent. You're very lucky to have a caring family. <laughs> When can we go fishing? Robbie, we'll go fishing soon. And we'll take your dad with us. I'm ready, Grandpa. You name the day. <laughs> That's a great idea, Grandpa. Philip needs a day off. Uh -huh. Let's give him our presents now. Good idea. Presents? For me? From me and Marilyn. And this one's from me. <laughs> I looked all over the house to find it. Oh. Richard, these are terrific pictures. This one really brings back memories. You remember that day, Robbie? I sure do. It was fun. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry Susan isn't here. I miss her very much. She feels bad too, Grandpa. She called to say the plane was delayed. You know airports. Mm. I can't wait to see her. She looks just like Grandma at that age. Ah, I'd better unpack. I started traveling 24 hours ago. Not so young anymore. Don't you want something to eat? No, thanks. I, after a good night's sleep, I'll enjoy breakfast even more. Well, come on, Dad. Ellen and I'll take you to your room. I'm sure glad you're here, Grandpa. Hi. Good night, Grandpa. Hi. Pleasant dreams. Mm. <laughs> Philip, do you have the key to the trunk? I have the key, but it doesn't work. I sent the wrong key. <laughs> I have something for you. I made it myself. I think you'll enjoy it. I researched it for over a year. It's our family tree. Oh, oh Grandpa. How exciting. <laughs> Fabulous. Why, I didn't know that your grandfather was born in Germany. Lots of interesting information about our family. A gift from me. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. uh, Oh, Grandpa! I'm so happy to see you! Oh, you look so beautiful, Susan. My granddaughter. Like I always said, you look just like Grandma. I think you're going to be very happy here with us. I know you will. I don't feel alone anymore. Malcolm Stewart is not alone anymore, that's for sure. In 
fact, he'll have his family around him every day of his life now. Finding some peace and quiet may be a little difficult. <laughs> but my father won't be lonely anymore. He has me, Philip Stewart, nearby, and the rest of his family. There's Ellen, his daughter-in-law. You know, I met Ellen when I was a student at the University of Michigan. Later, she became my wife. We have three children now. Our oldest son is a photographer. Richard is very talented. Like his grandfather. Marilyn is talented too. She designs clothing. Marilyn is Richard's wife. And she's also a sister-in-law to Susan. Susan is my daughter. Susan reminds us of her grandmother, Bernice Cassidy Stewart, my mother. She was kind, intelligent, and lovable, like Susan. Susan has two brothers, Richard and Robert. We call him Robbie. He's our other son. He loves his grandfather very much. Well, that's our family, the Stewarts. Did you follow me? Let's see, who is my daughter? That's it, Susan is my daughter. How about this, who is Robbie's grandfather? Malcolm is Robbie's grandfather. Okay, who is Susan's sister-in-law? Marilyn is Susan's sister-in-law, that's right. <laughs> well, that's our family and I love them all.